So how does parity basically work? Let's say I want to write these one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of data to the disk, and they actually contained this data. One and two and three, four, five and six. Those are their actual contents. All right, I'm going to stripe them to the to the disk, and I'm going to also stripe the parity. We'll figure out what the parity is too. So the first two guys are one and two. They're going to go here. One and two. Now I add them up. How much is one and two? That's three. So the parity is equal to 3. Now the parity is going to go here, here, and here. So the next two guys are 3 and 4. The 3 is going to go here, and the 4 is going to go here. How much is 3 plus 4? That's 7. So parity equals 7. I jump over to the next one, 5 and 6. Now the parity is going to go here. 5 and 6 is going to go here. 5, 6. 5 plus 6 is 11, so parity is going to be equal to 11. Now let's say catastrophe strikes. So this entire disk goes bad. And we've lost everything on this disk. We put in a new disk, and now the system's going to recreate everything. How is it going to do that? It looks at the parity here. This is 3. So 3 minus 1 has got to be 2. So it recreates the 2 over here. Then the next row here, parity is lost. But the data is still there. So it just recreates it. Parity is equal to 7. Now it jumps down to here, this third stripe. And what was lost was the data, 5. So the parity is 11. 11 minus 6 is 5. And so that way it recreates the data that was lost on this disk, both parity and actual data. I hope that was helpful. This is George Bull. Bye-bye.